Amid the hype surrounding the Paris Olympics, Noah Lyles, fresh off his stunning victories at the 2023 World Championships, boldly declared himself the fastest man in the world. This audacious claim has sent shockwaves through the track and field community, especially with Usain Bolt's legendary world records still standing unbroken. Did Lyles just disrespect the greatest sprinter of all time? Or is this the confidence needed to surpass a legend? Like this, in last year's world championships for the 200 meters, Noah Lyles has been making waves in the track and field world, especially after his stunning performances at the 2023 world championships. Just imagine, he clinched victories in not just one, but three major events. The 200M, 100M, and the 4x100M relay. It's the kind of triple triumph that hadn't been seen since the days of Usain Bolt back in 2015. Lyles' win in the 200M was particularly impressive, showcasing his incredible speed and determination. His personal best, 9.83 seconds in the 100M and 19.31 seconds in the 200M, are no small feats either. These times put him among the top sprinters in the world today. Beyond his recent victories, Lyles has had a solid career, building a reputation for his explosive starts and dynamic finishes. He's been steadily working his way up to becoming a top contender in the sport. Bolt still holds the world records in both the 100M and 200M events, with jaw-dropping times of 9.58 seconds and 19.19 seconds, respectively. These records aren't just impressive, they're almost superhuman, setting a standard that has yet to be beaten. Bolt's achievements go beyond just records. He made history by winning three consecutive Olympic sprint titles from 2008 to 2016. That's nine gold medals in the 100M, 200M, and 4x100M relay events, which cemented his status as the greatest sprinter of all time. His charisma and showmanship on the track made him a global icon, and his performances drew millions of fans to the sport. It's no wonder he's still celebrated as a legend, even after his retirement. Only getting more and more exciting by the day. From the ever- Noah Lyles stirred the pot recently with a bold claim that has the track and field community buzzing. He declared, I've always known that I'm the fastest man in the world. It's a statement brimming with confidence especially considering Usain Bolt's towering legacy in the sport. Lyles isn't just talking big, he's setting his sights on breaking Bolt's records, an ambition that's both thrilling and daunting. As the reigning champion in the 200M and 100M events from the 2023 World Championships, Lyles has the credentials to back up his confidence. With the Paris Olympics on the horizon, his comment seems to be a rallying cry, not just for himself, but for his fans. It's as if he's saying, watch me, I'm here to make history. Lyle's remark isn't just a casual boast, it's a reflection of his ambition and the mindset required to compete at the highest levels. He's a young athlete with big dreams and he's not afraid to express them. In the world of sports, especially track and field, such statements can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, they can inspire and motivate both the athlete and their supporters. On the other hand, they can draw criticism, especially when made in the shadow of a living legend like Bolt. Lyles seems unfazed, however, and perhaps that's what makes him so intriguing to watch. Usain Bolt, ever the class act, responded to Lyles' comments in his subtle way. Without directly addressing the claim, Bolt's social media post hinted at the ongoing debate about who deserves the title of the fastest man in the world. He didn't need to say much, his records and legacy speak volumes. Bolt's understated reaction could be seen as a reminder that titles are earned on the track, not in the press. It's a lesson in humility and grace, qualities that have endeared him to fans worldwide. The reaction from the wider track and field community has been mixed. On one side, there's admiration for Lyles' confidence. After all, the sport thrives on athletes who dare to dream big and push the boundaries. Some fans and commentators see Lyles' bold statement as a breath of fresh air, injecting excitement into the sport and building anticipation for the Paris Olympics. They argue that in a time when track and field struggle for the spotlight, a charismatic figure like Lyles can draw in new fans and revive interest in the sport. 
On the other side, there's a significant portion of the community that sees Lyle's comment as premature, if not disrespectful. For them, Usain Bolt's records are not just numbers, but symbols of excellence and dominance that should be acknowledged and respected. The idea that someone could claim the title of fastest man while Bolt's records still stand is, to them, a bit audacious. This camp argues that until Lyles or anyone else breaks Bolt's records, the title remains with the Jamaican legend. It's a reminder of the high standards Bolt set and the immense challenge of surpassing them. When it comes to comparing the achievements of Noah Lyles and Usain Bolt, we're talking about two different stages of greatness in the sprinting world. Noah Lyles is an incredibly talented athlete. No doubt about it, he's the reigning world champion in the 200M and 100M and his personal best of 9.83 seconds in the 100M and 19.31 seconds in the 200M are impressive by any standard. These times have positioned him as one of the fastest men in recent memory and his triple crown at the 2023 World Championships, winning the 100M, 200M, and 4x100M relay, solidified his status as a top contender in the sport. But then there's Usain Bolt. Bolt is a legend, not just for his world records, but for the way he transformed the sport of sprinting. His 100M world record of 9.58 seconds, set in 2009, is still the fastest time ever recorded. It's a number that has become almost mythical in its unreachability. His 200M record of 19.19 seconds, also set in 2009, showcases his versatility and dominance over the longer sprint distance. Bolt's achievements are further highlighted by his three consecutive Olympic sprint doubles, from Beijing in 2008 to Rio in 2016, where he won gold in the 100M, 200M, and 4x100M relay events each time. This unprecedented feat cements his legacy as the greatest sprinter of all time. So, when comparing Lyles and Bolt, it's like looking at two different eras of sprinting excellence. Lyles is at the peak of his career, striving to carve out his legacy, while Bolt's records and achievements set a standard that seems almost untouchable. Bolt's enduring world records are a testament to his extraordinary talent and the high bar he set for all sprinters who follow. This title has traditionally been associated with whoever holds the world record in the 100M dash, widely considered the benchmark for pure speed. By that measure, Usain Bolt, with his 9.58 second run, is still the fastest man alive. This record has stood unchallenged for over a decade, making Bolt the gold standard in sprinting. However, there's another perspective that considers the current world champion, or the most recent major competition winner, as the fastest man. This is where Noah Lyle's claim comes into play. As the reigning world champion in both the 100M and 200M, Lyles has a legitimate argument to make for this title, at least in the context of the most recent global competitions. The distinction here is crucial. Being the fastest man in the world, as per current competition standards, versus being the fastest man ever, as per world record standards. This debate highlights an interesting nuance in sports titles. While Bolt's world records are a historical benchmark, the title of the fastest man can also reflect the current state of competition. It's about who is on top right now, who is winning the races that matter. In this light, Lyles, with his recent wins, can be seen as the fastest man on the track today, even if he hasn't yet surpassed Bolt's records. But there's a cultural and emotional weight to Bolt's records that makes them more than just numbers. They're a symbol of excellence and a reminder of one of the greatest athletes we've ever seen. For many fans, the title of the fastest man in the world isn't just about recent wins. It's about the sheer, almost mythical speed that Bolt demonstrated. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.